Lindsay Austin from Yes TV. The following program which you're about to see was written and produced by Yes TV Media students. To learn more about Yes to Youth, visit us at www.yestoyouth.org. Hello, I'm Lindsay Alston. And I'm Maddie Eisenhart. Put down that remote and step into our world. We'll show you what news makes today different from every other day. Because remember, this isn't your news from yesterday. It's, it's yes, yes today. today. Yes. 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 I know yes. that you have. Yes. Uh, Yes. 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 Today. Today you'll get the inside scoop on a musical that you never get tired of. Fifth graders promoting the prevention of accidents in their community. We'll also be bringing you teens who are planning for their future today at Maine's technical high schools, as well as some amazing youth who spoke at the Reasons for Hope Youth Conference. No, Donnie Osmond wasn't there, but Yes TV was. Check out Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. This is a great family show for all ages, from the young to just the young at heart. It has entertained and inspired audiences around the world. With a variety of singing, dancing, and talented stars, this show amazed us when Yes TV went behind the scenes. We are still I got involved with Crossroads because um, I saw the auditions for the Joseph and a couple of people said, hey, you'd be really good in this role. So uh, I auditioned and I got to meet all these uh, these great people. Deb, she does wonders, you know what I mean? Yep. And uh, Jason, I just I just met Jason right before the show and he he's probably the best director I've had. I've been acting for five years. Um, I've done roles from uh, you know the smallest roles in The Frog and Alice in Wonderland to uh, to Hamlet. about three years ago uh, when the Columbine High School happened that we wanted to do something for youth so we had just recently started our own company and we were self-employed so we decided that this is a dream that we had and we could we could go ahead and start it and it was going to be an after-school program for the people in our church but then we decided probably we should extend it to the whole community because there was not an, an after-school program and then this is our major fundraiser and this is family orientated so it's anybody of any age uh, five and up and we usually have about 75 to 100 with the technical crew and the volunteers and everything I've done some choreographing for 
Stanford main stage, some assistant choreographing and dance captain work for City Theater. I'm hoping to major in directing musical theater and choreographing because I've, um, my main focus is dance. I choreograph this production as well. It's my passion. It's what I want to do. all the costumes and we have three or four other seamstresses that are helping me sew them but I'm sewing the most difficult and they're pretty much all like all designs that I did. I, yeah, I love working for Crossroads. I get to do a lot of things. Um, being a stage manager is a pretty tough job. It's the toughest job really in theater, um, besides being a director, And but it's a lot of fun. Well, first we um, kind of sit down with the director and say what's his vision for the show and how does he want that to come across in lights. And I um, sit down with uh, plots and a few drafting templates and things like that and put the show on paper. And then, depending what you say, it might come up with something else, or that might be it. I've been involved in theater since I was very young. I used to sing, and but I got more involved in backstage stuff. So this is my first year doing backstage, but I plan to d pursue that. Like into the career? Yes, field? I want to be a stage manager. Um, I'm doing the children's ensemble. And how has it been so far? It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I've really liked it. It's a great experience being in the this play because it's really fun to meet new people and have a fun time singing. Like, it's, yeah. it's been really fun and we've worked really hard and it's going to be a great show. It's, it's been a lot of hard work but I think it's really coming together. <laughs> I'm Aaron Sukvor through the Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dream Co. in Saco.